Now we're looking at another tough guy in your Bible. John 2 and verse 14. And found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves and changers of money sitting. And when he had made a scourge of small cords, he drove them out of the temple and the sheep and the oxen and poured out the changers' money and overthrew the table. You know, this is a fascinating story. He broke out a can of whip, you know what, and he's throwing people out of the temple. He's throwing people out of the church. I mean, imagine driving up to your church and all of a sudden out the door, here's a person thrown out by the scuff, uh, you know, someone then grabbed him by the scuff of the collar or whatever, scuff of the neck, and he's throwing him out the door. And it's Jesus in there cleansing the church. He's cleansing all the hypocrites. And he's thrown out half the church out the door. Imagine seeing that. What would you think of Jesus throwing people out of the church? You know, it's like that saying, don't let the doorknob hit you where the good Lord splits you. Uh, throwing people out of the church. Does this fit our concept of the real Jesus? And, what, uh, and, and of the Bible in general? Does any of these things fit our mold, our mind, whether it's David acting crazy, whether it's uh, Rahab lying about the spies, you know, whether it's Elijah burning up people, you know, does it fit our view of Christianity is my question. Now, let me tell you about the real Jesus. First of all, Jesus was a Jew. <clears throat> a lot of people will deny that one. Oh, no, he wasn't a Jew. Yeah, Jesus was a Jew. Jesus did not have long hair. In fact, Jesus was so common looking that often in a crowd he was totally overlooked in fact when some of the people want to kill him couldn't identify him in a crowd that's how common looking he was jesus was not born on december anywhere near december 25th jesus owned his own home jesus paid taxes christ had a large family of at least six brothers and sisters jesus was a personal friend of con artists soldiers fishermen Cheats, liars, thieves, politicians, religious leaders, and prostitutes. Christ was not crucified on a Good Friday, and he was not resurrected on an Easter Sunday morning. Christ is alive today and is planning his return to this earth, and the countdown has already begun. Now that's the real Jesus right there. I've just revealed to you the real Jesus Christ. Something else that uh, <clears throat> I thought was what a tough guy might do. Jesus turned water into wine. In fact, about 160 gallons of water into wine. They had run out of wine at this wedding feast. And they had to have a wine run. And so Jesus just made 160 gallons of wine. Sorry, Baptists. That's water into wine. That is not, that, listen, listen, this, this is not water into grape juice. Grape juice does not get you drunk, okay? You know, you've saved the best grape juice until last. No, that, none of that makes any sense if you believe that Jesus turned water into grape juice. No, he turned water into wine. Now, I know, I know, well, I would have thought a lot more of Jesus if he hadn't have done that. If he hadn't have turned that water into wine, I would have thought a lot more of him. Now, I hear you. I hear you. <clears throat> and you know what I realized one day? I thought, you know, who turns water into wine and doesn't drink it? You know, Jesus probably drank a little bit of that wine. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to try to out Jesus, Jesus, okay? All right. Now, 